Hey, everybody. Welcome to Graded Point Live. We're going to talk about sex offenders today. Yay. Or possible sex offenders. We don't know if they're they're alleged under. sex offenders. Possible Remember. alleged. Look, we all, come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, at this point, I mean, it's like, mm -mm. Yeah, I mean, maybe. yeah, Poss yeah. yeah. <laughs> we can't we can't prove anything, but I want to believe <laughs> or you kind of have to at this point. Just believe, go ahead, Wayne. Just believe. In the OK, but yeah, we're going to talk about um, there's some uh, accusations that have been floating around about an Eric Esquivel. I'm going to show a picture of him real quick. Quick. Quick thing, uh, I like the category for the video is education. <laughs> we are educating the masses. And, yeah, I haven't. I need to. I'll fix that later. It don't matter. Uh, <laughs> hey, no. I don't know. You're an all star. <sighs> <laughs> yeah. All right. There's a, there's a picture of Eric. Um, yep. Those of you watching the stream. So at least if we don't have a Seth in the chat, we have a Daryl in the stream. So. Oh. <laughs> It evens out. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Really? That is sad. <laughs> it, Eric was my favorite character in New Vegas. Yeah. <laughs> he, he, where he goes by Raul, apparently. <laughs> and sometimes Miguel. It's real fucking weird, but. Yeah. <laughs> in case you haven't, we are kidding. Um, this is actually what uh, he looks like. Very debonair man. I don't know he's wearing a tribute, but you know, it's whatever. Wearing a tribbly? Yeah. And smoking a cigarette with a glove on. Uh. Very oh. <laughs> it's, a, it's a classy man. Yeah. Very, <laughs> very, very, a man of the uh, people, as they would say. <laughs> uh, <laughs> also, Wayne, I should mention, I think that is not a uh, trilby. I'm pretty sure that's a d very different style of hat. Oh. But... Um, you want to, if you want to be incorrect about hats, that's fine, I guess. If you want to just leave, that'd be great too. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I thought that was a bowler hat. I'm pretty sure it is. I'm pretty oh, sure okay. Wayne is just a fucking boomer ass motherfucker. He doesn't know what he's doing. Oh goddamn! How does a boomer not know his hats? I, you know, <laughs> I only wear one kind of fucking hat. The boomers only wear one kind of hat. And that's a ca that's a ball cap. They don't wear a fucking yeah, like, like right. But those like kinds that. of hats are way. But way they wear that boomers. fishing hat when they fucking retire, Wayne. No, nobody wears that hat. Yeah, yeah, they you do. Will. I think it. You, you will. <laughs> Nobody over under the age of seventy wears that fucking hat. Get out of here. <laughs> right, and you will when you're that age. I'm not going to ten years. Ten years. You are older than I am. <laughs> <laughs> Why a fucking bunch, motherfucker? You, okay, back to the boomer image. I'll yeah, be real. I had a man in this. Oh, see yeah. the man in the fucking wheelchair. That's Daryl. <laughs> yeah. Right. Daryl is so and, broke and down that he, he's having to self medicate at this point. And, and he's <laughs> he's just a fucking week behind me. Like a month behind me. Yeah, that, that so, means I'm young and virile. That's what. <laughs> wait, wait, another hold, month, motherfucker. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold the fuck on. He's a week. He's a month behind me. Which the fuck is it? It's a month. Are you sure? I don't know what time is anymore. God damn it. Yes. <laughs> your yes. birthday is May what? It's a month. It's a month. May what? What's your? It's May third. May third. And yours is April tenth, right? No, mine is. Daryl, you don't have time. <laughs> Uh, See if if you were if, if you were if you were born a month before this. me, I'm drawing something that I want to show you guys. Yeah, yeah, but huh? if, if you were born a month before me, how how would I be born a month before you? Yeah, April comes before May, bro. Yeah, I know, uh, I know. Wayne, Wayne's birthday yeah. was September, was, uh, December seventh. They guys, called Long Pearl Harbor. Yeah, but you, know, but right, you guys, <laughs> wait, what? You understand what I, I'm saying? I I, I didn't pay attention to any of that. Yeah, yeah, but we're, we're, I think what Kevin's trying to say, I am the third bomb. Um, okay. Yeah. Well, you know. <laughs> so it's my, job to, it's my job to end anime, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Someone has to. Yeah. You're never going to do it. One day. All right, let's get back to Javier wow. Escuela real quick. Yeah, yeah, let's yeah, go let's back. back to Sex <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Back to Javier Escuela. Or should yeah, I say, instead of the weird guy. Or should I say Eric, uh, whatever his name is. Eric M. Esquivel. Eric Esquivel. There's it. There's Eric. Yep. There he is with his thing hands, looking all geeky and comic booky. He's like, "Yeah, I'm the man. I'm a comic book guy." Now this guy is responsible for the uh, Border Town. Border Town, which is 
a great Wait. comic. Everyone should go out and purchase the copy right now. <laughs> it's yeah. a, it's that yeah. comic that is uh, universally loved and acclaimed for how subtle it is with its political message. Right. <laughs> it's that it is so well agenda, done. That guys. It, it tries to poke fun at racism by actually being racist. It's great. I know. <laughs> it is a very right? interesting strategy, to say the least. This guy is fake, basically like a Mel Brooks movie just rolled into one. <laughs> oh. Dude, this, this did feel like the fucking... Talk about a uh, Inquisition, guys, in a uh, fucking uh, uh, the me- meaning of life. Uh-huh. Or uh, God, <laughs> I dang. don't know. Listening to you say that felt like the uh, dance I know. routine in the uh, Rama Hood Minute Tights. <laughs> <laughs> it's man, it's man in tights. Is this a? Uh, this is starting to the... around the floor looking for fights. This is starting to become the epitome of hyperbole. Um, <laughs> 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 It's kind of fun, though. Hello, yeah. fans are in comics. It's good to have you. Uh, I mean, I'm acknowledging the chat. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we're talking about uh, Javier Escuela here, who uh, apparently respects women. Um, All night long. Not that much. But, <laughs> but enough to fuck him in, the, in his trailer in the back of the comic book shop. He respects him so right. hard, you guys. <laughs> that is the most... I mean, I want to, I can't really say bad thing, but that is fucking awesome. Is that you're banging chicks in your trailer behind your comic shop? <laughs> I mean, where else are you supposed to bang? If I could get away with it, I would totally fucking do that. Okay, well let's uh, let's preface this when they're a willing participant. That's a cool thing. Uh, oh yeah, no, no, no. Like, I, uh, yeah, no, not down with the. Uh, There's some the non-consensual respecting right. going on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, I mean. If it's it, the whole non-consensual, you know, respecting, what if what if he just didn't tell her that she was going to consent yet? Like it was just like he he could travel through time. It's like eventually she's going to want to fuck me, so I'm just going to get on that shit now. Oh God! <laughs> I don't see why she wouldn't. I mean, he works at a comic shop. I mean, he's I mean, right? prime ass right and, there. And, and, <laughs> and keep in mind, he is vaguely Hispanic, so he's got he's got that going for him. Oh, he's got the Latin <laughs> charm. <laughs> I mean, if you look at him, that is a that is an epitome Woo. of a man right there. I mean, yeah, I I think like fucking Antonio Banderas. But, yeah, yeah. Um, I'd fuck him. <laughs> you would. I you would. Know, hey, you guys, <laughs> you guys make me draw weird. Uh, I'm gonna show you this tonight. Thank okay. you. Uh, whoa, buddy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ! And I thought, <laughs> so, so would it be safe to say it's time to reset the clock? Um, like, yeah, once again, you might as well have like a stopwatch, you know I mean? <laughs> right? It, it's not even a clock at this point. It's just a yeah. No, like, for the audience, why don't you uh, go through of of what of he's gonna choose though? Like the story now. Oh man. Hold on. Yeah, I mean, it's just yeah. It's kind of like this. I'm gonna set a stop. I'm gonna set a timer right now for five seconds. Uh, <laughs> let's see. You know, just turn you on your microwave and uh, start. Wait to the beach. All right, let's see. See what kind of noise we get. Here we go. So, oh, somebody else respected women. <laughs> <laughs> the liberals, Morty. They're raping our women. <laughs> <laughs> I'm expecting that any time that one of those guys are going to be. Well, oh, oh, Dan Hart. Yeah, fucking yeah. That guy is, he's due. He's already a weirdo, so. Yeah. Yep. Uh, right, but, but yeah, run man. through, run through real quick what, like, this guy is, what's going okay, on. Okay, okay, so let me go to the bounding uh, in the comics article, because that would be easier than trying to show a video. Obviously. Right. Um, let's see. If, yeah, okay. So the title of this is uh, from Bounding in the Comics, uh, Vertigo Comics Creator uh, um, Accused of Abuse and Sexual Misconduct. On Sunday, a woman named Cynthia Noggle, I'm, I'm, I'm going to pronounce it because I don't know any yeah. other way, um, sought to come forward with a story of abuse and sexual misconduct she had received in the past from an unnamed comic book creator. Noggle tweeted out a link to her personal blogspot page wherein she recounted her story for the public. It's funny. I, I just kind of like blogspot. Wow. That's um nineteen or no, no like two thousand and what thirteen yeah, shit two thousand and two oh, Wayne real quick mm-hmm. can we refer to her as Cynthia Noggin please Noggin because oh, of that five yeah cause that that bitch got a big ass head I mean I don't <laughs> you know the thing is I don't want to make fun of her too much because I mean she is if this you know is all true I don't want to be you know what I'm saying 
Um, what, one, one thing I am going to make fun of her about is the way she wrote that shit. It sounds like some kind of weird fan fiction. <laughs> yeah, it does. I'm kind of, you know what I'm going to chalk that up to, Keb, is your other, your, remember your other hypothesis about how these people don't know how to talk to each other? Yeah, that's what I think, because yeah. she's like yeah. probably part of the same kind of you know, circles, and they don't know how to interact with real people, so they talk like fucking TV mm-hmm. characters. Yeah, so, okay, in the post, Noggle <clears throat> recalled how she was sexually, mentally, and emotionally abused by someone she thought was her friend. And stated that she was um, coming out for coming out with this for many reasons. First, I like to think the women that had come out about their sexual abusers in the past year or so it has made me realize I am not alone. Second, I'm back in the city where it happened to me, and I recently saw him after years of not seeing him. It forced me to relive the past, and as much as it has hurt, <clears throat> has hurt. I've been, I've now been able to start the healing process of what happened to me. Third, to hold him accountable. To make him know that I'm not going to stay quiet about this anymore. To not let him attempt to write our story with what he's told people. I'm no longer going to sit back and cringe as he tells people, quote, we should, we should have ended up together. She meant so much to me. It hurt me she got away. Our story was never one about romance. Lastly, to make sure he doesn't do this to anyone else. Now, I'm going to preface this. She didn't name him in this post. Yeah, like... People put bits and pieces of it together, didn't they? And then they yeah, like, yeah, 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 we're, yeah. We're gonna get to that, but she didn't. She called him Mister X, right? Which, yes. If you're getting assaulted by a villain from Resident Evil Two, I feel sorry for you because yeah, that, <laughs> right? Um, yeah, seriously. That dude, that dude did dude busting through walls. I'd hate to know. Never mind. I don't want to even. That's <laughs> yeah. That's what I, I don't want like, to go like, there, They're always trying to make everything dramatic, and yeah. You know. mm-hmm. Like my thing is, and I guess it's just me. If you're gonna make an accusation, just do it. Yeah, yeah, like this motherfucker did X Y Z. He's a motherfucker. Exactly. Just <laughs> here's his motherfucker's name. That's all you do. It's like but wait, are you saying they kind of tied a generic thing to this guy? Yeah, they just gave him a generic name. They just called him Mister X or whatever. Right. You know. So anyway, <clears throat> Nurgle detailed many instances of mental abuse, sexual coercion, and sexual harassment she received from the individual in question. These included pressures pressuring her into unwanted sexual encounters, including a menage a trois involving her alleged abuser's girlfriend. Now, that's really fucked up. Like, What the hell? Yeah, man. It's, oh, yeah, because this guy is one of those uh, poly people, which yeah, is code word for uh, fucking mental what? illness. <laughs> hey, right. So Nagel ex- um, also explains her he preyed upon her fears and insecurities to continue a sexual relationship. Now, Anybody who's about who is sensitive to certain um, other kinds of abuses, I'm giving you a fair warning now. You're probably right. going to get as upset as I was when I heard this. <clears throat> oh boy! Oh boy! Yeah. Right. For months, this kind of behavior continued. I would tell him I didn't want want to anymore, and he would make comments like, "Okay, I'll just go after your friends." And how about um, the minions? Minions are what what we call the students we hire that were part mm-hmm. of a high school program. What the fuck? Yep. <clears throat> okay. <sighs> yep. <sighs> okay. Continuing before I say something, I will. Uh, no. Nope. Keep saying anyway. it. She say would. It. She would also go into detail about other sporadic instances of sexual conduct, including listening to him perform certain sex acts via phone. So I mean. Whoa. Okay, I'm guessing he was jerking off on the phone. That's what I'm. Right. Kind of Is he like a loud jerker or something like that? You think? Yeah. Wait, you think he's just? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> no, not even that. No, no, dude. I've had, I've had a stalker that that's what he would do. Like I don't know who the fuck he was, but he knew my name and he would randomly call my phone. Wow. Different I'm, numbers. By the way, I'm sorry about that. It wasn't. In. But no, I'm saying I can relate because I know, like, they will. That's what they'll do. They'll, like, fucking moan totally your name right. and make sure you can hear that they're fapping. Like, and, Jesus. like, moan your name and shit. That's what I would do. I, I would just get, you know, really good. That's what like, you would do? Like, sloppy and wet. So <laughs> And just jerk off in, into my fucking microphone and into somebody else's phone so I can wow. hear the. Yeah, that's what you would do, huh? Yeah, you, you, you just. Do. You get like a fucking oh, palm full of lubriderm. <laughs> Go nuts. Yeah. You just fucking go crazy with that shit. Make it right juicy. Just like. Okay. Yeah, just... Oh, oh, oh. 
Make it make it sound like you're getting your hair shampooed so loud. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, that's what the stalker dude did. I don't know why he finally stopped because I was having a hard time getting him to stop. Yeah, just see, I wouldn't want them to stop. I'd be like, oh, I know who this is from. I'm all ears. It's <laughs> terrible. What would be? Better? Well, it'd be mixed between. It would be calls like that, and then it'd be random calls, and there was always like one, two, and I would always be sleeping when I get these calls, so I'd always like be half asleep and think it was an emergency, mm-hmm. and, and you know, and just immediately answer the phone. Mm-hmm. His his and, uh, dick was having an emergency. Yeah. It was. He would say stuff like that, and then he but he would like ask me to like, um. Well, I mean the typical like, what are you wearing? But he was well, like asking me to be me to him or whatever, like to <laughs> wow. demean him. Yeah, and some stuff. guys love that shit, man. He wanted you to neg him while he was jerking off on the phone, like <laughs> yes, yeah, jerking off. Be like three in the morning, and I'm half asleep, and I'm like, as much as I hate you, I also want to go to bed, dude. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. So I think yeah, he was like trying to piss me off so he could get off, and so I probably helped a lot get when I got pissed. <laughs> Okay, so where was I? Oh, yeah. Yeah, my bad. Yeah, sex acts via phone. Okay. Noggle's full statement and the extent of the misconduct directed towards her can be read on her Blogspot page. I mean, we can go over that if you guys want. Um, but, uh, Not sure. It is evident that um, the, evident from her writing that these events had taken serious toll on her mental and emotional well-being. After Noggle had composed a letter to her abuser and built up the mental fortitude to send it to him, she felt the response she received um, trivialized her experience. Three days ago, I sent him a very long email about what he did to me. It was basically this post. He responded in less than five minutes. He apologized, said he remembers things differently, and he'll never see me at any of the same conventions, and he'll remove me from all social medias, and if he's there... And he's there if I need to talk. So wait, it's all... I don't want to... I'll make sure I don't see you again, and I'll be around you, but if you want to talk... Uh-huh. You know... Hit me it up. took him less than it five sounds, minutes. You know what? That is it's a Chris Rock routine. Is like, like, I'll give you some dick. <laughs> That's what he's yeah, saying. right, right. Yeah, yeah. He's still looking at dick? this as a hookup, you know, and not as a, yeah. oh, I actually abused this woman kind of thing. You know? Like, okay. It took him less than five minutes to read, process, and respond to a very long, detailed letter. It took me months and many write, rewrites to figure out how to say what I wanted to. We're living it all. I have to go through therapy. Uh, having to tell my family and friends what about this, talking to other women, he, women he's hurt and barely skim, and he barely skimmed through it. Okay, while while Noggle did not directly name her abuser, it was not long before members of the public were able to parse through the few identifying traits Noggle had discussed in her post to discover the identity of her abu- alleged abuser, Eric Esqu- um, Esquivel. I, I wanted about to say Esquela. <laughs> he might as well be Esquela. Antonio Banderas over here. Javier Esquela. <laughs> Current writer of Border Town for DC Comics. Um, now, how did people figure this out? Okay, from I- I'll tell wrote. you that in a second. Let me finish this. Um, okay. Noggle N- Noggle notes that the person in question was a marketing manager of the comic book shop where Noggle was employed. Moved from Tucson to Los Angeles, appeared at the Tucson Comic Con 2018, <clears throat> and had recently released a new book through D- um, DC's Vertigo label. According to her Facebook ca- page, Noggle was previously employed at Heroes and Villains Comic Book Store, same, same comic book shop where Esque. Uh, um, Esquela was previously <laughs> employed. Rich, Richie Valens. Yeah, yeah, but Richie Valens was previously employed as a marketing specialist. <laughs> yeah, that's how they found out is because she had um, identifying markers on her own Facebook people kind of looked at and then kind of put two and two together and like, wait a minute. Okay. So did uh, she just like, list off those details or did they have I, I, to do Like I said, we'll read the blog post. That'll make it easier for you. Okay. okay, I was gonna say because this sounds like now she's like, I don't want to name names, but it's this guy. Like, it, <laughs> well, she was doing that anyway, but yeah. right. Okay, though Ig- Iglesias was longtime resident of Tucson, Arizona. <laughs> um, <laughs> let's see. Um, Escovez <laughs> left his native Tucson, presumably around 2013, as evidenced by his listed experience on his LinkedIn page for his Los Angeles, uh-huh. the city where he currently lists his residence on said LinkedIn page. Dude, the... I grew up in Tucson. That's good for you. Patch on the back. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. <laughs> of the creators announced of the 2018 relaunch of DC Vertigo's imprint, only um, Escobar has been listed as a guest <laughs> of the 2018 Tucson Comic Con. Yeah, so that's another you link, too. He's Romero. Yeah, that was another <laughs> link, too, that was um, to him. 
as of this writing, um, Jose Romero has not responded to the <laughs> accusations. <laughs> he has instead deleted all of his social media accounts, saves, um, save his Twitter account, which has been set to protected mode. DC Comics is <laughs> it to a public response to Noggle's accusations. So, yeah. That's all right, so Dos Equis over here is... Uh... Dos Equis, yeah. So... <laughs> I'm the most interesting man in the world. Yeah, you're very interested, dude. You fucking... <laughs> Respected woman very much. Yeah, exactly. So, okay. So I'm kind of skimming through. I'm not going to read any of this, but I'm kind of skimming through all this shit that she wrote. Mm-hmm. I, I know this nigga didn't read all that shit in five minutes. Like, no. I may be a speed reader. I ain't going to do that. The one thing I don't like about the way she handled this, though, is, like, if, if it was me, and I, I, know, I know I'm a very different person than, than the person she obviously is, I'd just be saying, this the nigga who did this shit to me. Here's what he fucking did. Internet, do your thing. Right. Rather than doing the, the like, it's a I, like it's an internet mystery, but it's never a fucking mystery because 4chan is a fucking place, yeah. and 4chan's like, how can we uh, triangulate uh, Shia LaBeouf's fucking flag? You think they're not gonna figure out this this fucking shit when you're leaving very obvious information? Like, I mean, it, it leads me to wonder why did why didn't she just say, just very blatantly who the person I, was? I, right? I, I'll, I'll just fly out because it's within that certain group of people they like to attention whore. Uh, right. That's, That's all it was. Yeah. Well, here's my thing, too. Here's some things that are uh, kind of questions I have about this. Is uh, One, she's leaving out the name. Mm-hmm. Uh, when she obviously wanted or apparently wanted some kind of closure, and she apparently wanted everybody to know, and she didn't go and, like, you know, she left plenty of breadcrumbs. Uh, the only thing... Uh, I could say about withholding a name at that point is um, if she's uh, not 100% being truthful and doesn't want to get sued. Okay. Right. I would say that's a good possibility, right? Mm-hmm. Except good for the fact that he is shut down. Well, every- yeah, yeah, yeah. That, to me, is a very telltale thing when the accused, who instead of saying even a brief statement is like these allegations are untrue oh yeah you, you shut everything down yeah shuts everything yeah, down. most people most right. people would say at the very least these allegations are untrue yep. or that's you know even to the extent like say they may come off as like a very bullshit way to say it but even coming and saying that's not right. how i remember the situation you know i thought it was consensual you know blah, it's blah, gonna blah, be blah. Right, it's going to be more respectable than somebody who fucking runs. Yeah, the fact that he shut down everything and put his Twitter yeah. unprotected, very it telling. It says a lot. Yeah, yeah, very telling to me. But yeah, right. yeah. I mean, could still be a reaction of a person that thinks they're cornered simply because they're getting overwhelmed with. But you have okay. people. Well, yeah, there. But there's this another. There's another thing here. It's DC Comics. If he's truly, you know, you know, of course they're going to investigate this shit. Right. Yeah. I mean, they're not saying anything right now because they're investigating. I can tell you why. That's not. They're not. Mm-hmm. Doing it. That's what big corporations do. You know? Yeah. When shit like this goes on, they're going to investigate it to see if it's true. If it is found to be true, they're going to take appropriate action, which will probably mean him getting shit canned. Right. Because that's what um Marvel, well Disney did with uh James Gunn, right? Yeah. Yeah. They, yeah. When right. They didn't say shit until he investigated it. Yeah. Well, there wasn't even like any accusations of him doing weird shit. He was just being creepy on the internet. He was yeah. just being edgy. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it's being, it's being a fucking 20 year old edgy kid on the internet. Yeah. At 40. But anyway. Yep. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, I think, I think just the thing I would do is if, um, if I let this much time pass and it was still bothering me. And then realizing that I'm still, you know, hearing about this guy that did these things and don't want to end up in a convention with the guy that did these things and stuff like that. Right. Uh, instead of putting it all over the fucking Internet, I would actually like get up the cops. Yeah. Like well, report it, report it. Now, even though it's that long after the fact, we gotta I also, would actually make sure that, that there's long after the fact, though. You got to look at the huh? uh, world we live in. Um, especially after the Harvey Weinstein stuff and all that, the Cosby right. stuff, it is, they feel, I'm not saying it's right, they feel it's more impactful to just come out with it in public 
because mm-hmm. there is this gross misunderstanding, in my opinion, that law enforcement mm-hmm. ain't going to do anything anyway. Right. Well, the yeah. stuff, the allegations and things like they, I don't know, they really. I can tell you when I dealt with law enforcement, they really didn't do anything. They were asked. Well, I mean, <laughs> the thing I would put it about, like the, the diff, really difficult thing for law enforcement, especially when, because this is like, any, it started anywhere from 2012 to 2013. Mm-hmm. When you let that many fucking years pass, it's really hard to prove that shit. Yeah. Also, yeah right. Your, any chain of evidence is going to be. It could be pretty cold. Even if you tell it right away, because you have to have ev- like, oh no, he raped me. It's like, well, okay. Well, Do we have evidence? Have right. Done, yeah, it's like it's not what you know; it's what you can prove. You can, you can. The yeah. cops can be, you know, cops aren't stupid. They're pretty good at what they do usually. Yeah, but I, uh, if they can't take it to a court, like, look, uh, your honor, here's this. This dude did it. Guilty. He can't. You know, doesn't just work away. Well, it is different when she says that she's gotten already had gotten in touch with you know other women that he had apparently done this to so when there's multiple people there's a little bit more uh oomph to go and look into it or him mm-hmm. um but uh i'm not saying she's doing anything bad i'm saying these are feelings i get or this is how i would do it if i was in the position that's just um, no, no i get you especially with like a high profile name uh either put it out there or freaking don't write it about it at all and you know go through the channels you need to go through first and then update people on you know i think the th- I, honestly the first thing i would have done is approach dc comics if i'm looking yeah to, you know it's like hey i'm gonna let you know what happened to me and you're employing this person kind of thing i'm gonna know? hand it over to Ethan and skyver immediately oh <laughs> And then that writing writing an email, it. writing an email directly to the dude. Um, right. I guess I guess that's a that's a ballsy one. That's one that I couldn't do because I would not want to contact think... the person at all. I wouldn't want to hear from him. I wouldn't want a response. Right. It's like, hard to put most, myself in that situation, most obviously, people wouldn't because know. I'm a you know male and it's kind of hard. But to she's do. right though. Most people. Yeah, wouldn't. that's why I'm talking yeah. so much since I've had similar situations, yeah. just not as high profile a name. Yeah, because... uh, I don't think I'd want to, you know, want to see or um, talk to or have anything to do with the person. After I wouldn't want to contact the person. Yeah. I especially wouldn't want to let the person know how he damaged me because, I don't know, that's like none of his, I don't know. You know, like, yeah. right. that like, feels like saying, you won, I'm broken forever, good job, the whole, buddy. Like, right. The whole thing about holding him accountable, but she really wasn't because she wasn't saying who he was. It took right. other yeah. people to find yeah, out. Yeah, I don't get that, yeah. yeah. Right. And if she wanted to privately hold him accountable and then tell everybody about it. So she wanted to privately-ish do it by, by writing the email. That's like I said, that's one I couldn't do because I would not want to open my inbox and see a reply from that person. If right. you know he did all of those things that she said, you know, he did, man, I would not. Uh, I don't think I would be able to even contact him and tell him. But even, if I could do that, I definitely wouldn't want to even see a reply, let alone read it and go, that's it. Yeah, like, I, I couldn't do that. <laughs> you're not in a group of people that everything they have to, they, everything they do is like performative art for that's, the public. That's true. I guess it's coming from a, a very different. Uh, yeah, everything group, everything people do is designed to like look good in front of other people. Mm-hmm. And yeah, even if it's people. like sexual harassment allegations, they had to. The way she wrote it was all flowery. Like she's writing some sort of fucking fan fiction. Yeah. In a book. It's just really Yeah, yeah. It's really stupid. I will say with it being that uh with that much time having passed, it is definitely easier to talk, especially writing uh, instead of speaking, but it's definitely easier to talk about that kind of stuff. Yeah, that because you have that amount of time to kind of detach yourself. Uh but even I like it was way longer for some of my things and I still can't. But the big difference is I've managed to block out like what the person even looks like, let alone their name. So Good. they're, they're scot free because I can't fucking remember. There's like a shadow cutout where a person should be. So okay, but yeah, I can't. That. I can't that's imagine true. fucking emailing one of them and then wanting to see a response, like a longer response or any response. 
Yeah, the whole the whole thing kind of rubbed me the wrong way because her sending him an email saying, "Here, here is my experience." It's like you're mentioning Piper. You wouldn't want somebody who fucked you up to know how badly they fucked you up, especially because they could use that to their advantage in yeah, a response. Exactly. Right? But not only that, if she sent him the email first, he could use that and be like, "Look, this bitch is saying bullshit about me. This is what she sent me before she went public with it." You know, none of this shit is actually true. Now, granted, you know, because he deleted fucking everything, we have reason to believe that it, it's at least partially correct. But yeah. I, I don't know. She did not do anything to really help her case by initially leaving his name out of it, sending him an email. I don't know. Like, both parties are fucking stupid. One party significantly more so because, you know, respecting women is, uh, you know, kind of bad news bears. But, you know, whatever. Yeah. My whole situation with the thing is uh, usually you're supposed to be like, all right, look, we need evidence. You can't just go around saying things, and this is true. Mm. However, this is the environment these people have created, so I don't give a fuck. <laughs> you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like, you don't eat shit. I don't care. You're going to just – no I mean, one's going to go to jail. No one's going to get – nothing's going to happen. He might get fired. Probably will get but, fired, yeah. And most but it's like get fired. You, made the, you made that bed. You got you to gotta sleep in it with all the fucking bugs and shit that you let in. <laughs> I mean, my, my, so. my, my thing is, it's like, um, you know, it's besides, you know, writing a shitty comic book, um, I got no ill that towards be, that's him. That's the biggest crime. I got no ill towards him unless he's actually did these things, right? Right, yeah. But oh, the threat, right. threatening the high school kids if she didn't do what he wanted, that one's a weird one. And Allegedly. Yeah, I was going to say, unfortunately, <laughs> that's... One of those that's definitely just her writing that. Since she's not saying Here's he actually did up. anything to the high schoolers, that's going to be one that there's not really anything to go on with. Okay, here's some here's some stuff that um, was not in the article that I want to read. Um, this is from her her blog. Okay, these types of incident, incidents happened for months. Ex ended up moving to Tucson from Tucson to L.A., and I got back with my ex-boyfriend. I still kept communicating with him. Somewhere in uh, this, I found a logic that if I could be his friend... I could see him in a, I could see the good in him, and it, and it wouldn't feel so bad about what had happened. Maybe it'll even go away. But it always got twisted. He would say things like, "We should have ended up together." I would stop being Polly for you. You um, you love me. I wouldn't even, I wouldn't ever believe any of it. I thought it thought of it as a joke. And <clears throat> why would we treat? Why would he? I guess I think she said, "Why would he?" treat someone he loved like this is this a friend like it's kind of like what cab was saying it's trying to be dramatic you know mm -hmm. uh -huh. yeah i fell into the why same habits you, again why would you want to stay friends with your abuser on the one hand she's saying you know it was abuse and she was traumatized and on the other hand she's like but i tried to sweep it under the rug and be his friend i'm like yeah. no here's my, what the right, heck? Right. Here's, here's, here's my snap judgment situation she got pressured into sex that she didn't necessarily want to do, but uh, not really rape. You know what I mean? Right. Right. She went through with it. She's just like, all right, you know, whatever. Right. Also, something I would I would ask people to consider is if you are somebody who is being abused, sometimes it takes you years yep. to realize that it's actually abuse. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and you well, I will say that, like but she's posing it as no. she was already traumatized and yeah, then but, decided but, to be as free as Piper, what Jordan's saying brings true all the same. You know, you need to, you know, note the difference, right? Well, some no, but what, I, I understand what Piper's it, saying, though. But it, right. Some people in the middle of it are not realizing they're in the middle of it until after they're out of yeah. it. Right. You know? Right. And that's kind of the whole mental abuse part of the, of mm -hmm. course, you know. They, right. They, they get these people, well, they don't treat me that bad kind of thing. Right. You know, yeah. you know even though exactly. they're getting exactly. treated like shit. You know, so, but they right. convince themselves so they're trying, and it's, a, it's, I'm, I'm, I was about to use a word I didn't want to use. It happens a lot with victims. I was about to say victim mentality, but victim mentality is a different thing. Um, sure. right. It happens with I victims. I was going to say the N word. <laughs> <laughs> I thought so too. <laughs> so it happens a lot with, okay. You guys. What happens a lot with oh some God. victims <laughs> is that Me. it's kind of like the, um, what's that term? Apparently. Um, you know, like when you you start sympathizing in, you know, your kidnappers. Stockholm you know, Syndrome. Stockholm oh, Syndrome. Yeah. It's similar, similar to a Stockholm yeah. Syndrome. You're just trying right. to make the best of it at that point. And then you're just like, well, they're not really that bad. 
kind of thing, you know? Mm -hmm. Not realizing, oh, this person is actually a monster. You know, maybe I should, you know, leave them, you know, get the fuck out of this situation. Anyway, let me finish right. this. Because, like I said, it gets, this is where I get, like, really creeped out. Um, mm -hmm. I fell into the same habits again. He's so nice to me. I'll ignore his dick pics this time. And I was like, I just laughed. It's like sliding into the DMs and sending dick pics. Uh, <laughs> That's how I do it, man. Yeah. You got to get in there. You got to do, do it quick, right? Like, pfft, there it is. <laughs> uh -huh. Just just stealth uh, dick pics. Boom. He, <laughs> he, 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 no, uh, no one noticed. Here's one for Piper. He helped me with job references. Okay. I guess I'll let him masturbate on the phone while it's, while wow. it's supposed to be our catch-up talk. Wow. <laughs> Uh, right? Man, Could man, I need to get that I'm fucking deal. About, yeah, you know, I don't mind it because it's funny, wait, wait, wait. but that's a bit much for a job reference. Not even a job. <laughs> job I mean, reference think about this. Think real? about this. Like, like, <laughs> this movie is like you said, catch up talks. Like, yeah, no, today I went shopping with my friends. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's a here's <laughs> here's here's what fucks right. me up. She's talking about job references. She works at a comic book store. What kind of job references she get? Well, that are so valuable to that she would jerk off on the phone. To be fair, right. she, was a, she was basically an assistant manager, so that's a you know. Uh, it's yeah, a, but oh goddamn! Wow, she's making eight fifty instead of nine or whatever. You know, it's like, but what I'm saying is, it's still a management position. I mean, um, let me tell you something. As somebody who's worked in management, having a management position as a reference doesn't matter how trivial it is. It still says management. Yeah, yeah. You know? I get what you're saying. Yeah, so. And if you can get a but like, is, that, like, but is that really worth the? Uh, yeah, she's not, not getting saying reference. it was worth it. I'm just saying. Yeah, uh, yeah you know, I am. <laughs> like, like if someone's gonna give me like, yeah, I'll give you a reference for a job you'll make 150 thousand a year, but uh, yeah, I had to let me jerk off on the phone for 20 minutes. I'd be like, well, <laughs> all right, I guess. Can you imagine <laughs> just I'm, I'm saying, how what kind of a fucking sicko? Excuse me for a second. How what kind of fucking sicko just starts jerking off while you're talking about like going to the grocery store and shit like that? I mean. Oh, you're yeah, just gonna fucking call me out? Jesus! Three in the morning, like purposely trying to indulge your fetish. You've never like, heard me talk about. You've never heard me talk about Publix chicken tinny subs before, dude. That's true. Like, that's something to work to work up on. Look, look, Wayne, look, you don't you don't need to fucking call me out on stream. This is some bullshit. I thought we were friends. <laughs> Isn't that Island Walmart? Oh, that rice looks good. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> bitch. Uncle Ben! What would be really sad is like this is like one of those effeminate dudes, right? Who probably, oh. you know, let's be honest, probably is. And I, look, I mean, if you look at this picture, oh, yeah, uh, yeah, fucking that, yeah, yeah, Squala yeah. over there is a, yeah, yeah, he's not a hulking man of, you know. Do, do you think he does like, after he does, he's like, oh. <laughs> I bet. I and bet. He, and he starts crying a little bit. Like, <laughs> honestly, I bet he sounds like the dude that was calling me. Because I bet he's so me, low. Sounded like little, like, <laughs> like, like a little. I'm so tiny. Not little, like young. Just mm -hmm. little, like a scrawny. I don't I'm four foot six. <laughs> I, I bet he's so that. low key that when he, uh, when he finally skied, oh god, up in the crack. That that's a god movie is based on fucking Piper's life, isn't it? Oh, geez. Wait, what? <laughs> the what right, movie? Let me, let me, <laughs> nothing let me, let me nothing at this. all. Let me finish this. Okay. <laughs> because like I said, this is where it gets skeevy for me, right? Okay, he made me feel out of control and guilty, but he was my friend. He's nice to me sometimes. It wasn't until a year ago after he bragged about meeting the parents of his underage student he was planning on sleeping with. Okay. He was teaching writing classes at the comic shop slash showroom in L.A., and it's now closed down. I decided to cut him out of my life. That's when I realized how much I was being manipulated and abused. I'm, I still have trouble saying rape. Well, at least you finally said it. Right. I say, I feel, <clears throat> let's see, da, da, da. I feel like I never had the chance to have control, which is one of the things I had the most trouble understanding. I was in a spot in my life where it felt I had absolutely no control over anything. I was just trying to survive. Why couldn't I just say no more? Years of um, not saying no loud enough. Years of understanding why no didn't work. Maybe it didn't sound like I meant it. Maybe it didn't matter because it was just X. How this is how he is, and how, um, and I have to deal with it. See, that's more of that flowery, dramatic. Yeah, and I just right. want to tell this chick is like maybe because you kept talking to him. Yeah. Yeah. Like after the first one, a if you didn't take a fucking baseball bat to his dome, right? The, you yeah. know, after the fact. 
You know what I mean? I'm but just we're saying, you know, like I said, everybody I, I, to kind of react the way we would. I'm just saying, I know how I would react. It'd be, you know, a shotgun. Right. You know? So, yeah, I mean, absolutely. But, uh, you know, but like not I said, everyone I mean, would. This is I a can't... manipulative situation she was in instead right. of like a violent one, like you usually imagine, like yeah. rape being. Yeah. Right. Uh, this yeah, is, that's why I say it wasn't like actual. It sounds like, like more rape, coercion. Rape, what you think of it? Yeah, it's more yeah, like, hey, baby, yeah, come on over. Do, and... Coercion to do what he wanted instead of outright you know what i mean like forcing we're not it. saying that it's not serious yeah, yeah, we're not I mean, any way saying it's not like, are stomach. you saying it's coercion it's mutual coercion or mutual benefits uh, and it's worked as it fucking sounds right well the way it sounds like she was keeping up with him to get job revenue. right right that's so, what i'm saying yeah, like yeah. I, said, I hate to make the accusation they um, exchanged mutual benefits but it was like basically it's like okay i'm just gonna deal with it in this situation right. kind of thing um, especially like from earlier in the thing, it basically just started like they had just met. Right. And I'll go back, you know, I'll jump back to that, but I, that, that, that's scum, that's the scummy part when he's talking about like getting with the high schooler, you know, like, yeah, right. now, now I just like to strangle you, dude. You know, what's he like, doing? Like, downside you know? being that's still, um, a what's he said, he said, he said kind of, God damn it. He said, she yeah, had. yeah, that one. She should. <laughs> she said she should, but she should. Now, what's to say that he just wasn't doing some James Gunn, you know, jokey poos kind of thing? Right. Yeah, that's true. I mean, it's hard to say because there's no. Yeah, evidence. like this, this chick, I mean, I, what she's saying probably did happen. Maybe not in the exact way she says it, but like this guy probably is kind of a shitty person, yeah. unnecessarily criminal. Mm. Yeah. And. So it's sort of the iffy is like, oh, he was going to bang all these high school chicks. It's like, well, he, maybe he was a joke and people make jokes. It's just okay, like, here we go. Yeah. It's a creepy one, but, uh, I mean, yeah, but like, okay. instead of uh, 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 sex pest. All right, let me right. read this. Let me read this. It's from the beginning. My new manager, we'll call him X. X acted like my friend. He was like, um, he was there for me during my breakup. Listen. Okay, for one thing, he's getting, you know, that, that's a rebound thing. So I'm already seeing some problems. Yep. You know? Then one day, while we were having a conversation about my breakup, the topic of our intimacy came up. He got closer. He put his hands on my hip and lower. He kissed me and invited me to his place during our lunch break. I said yes. He lived right next to our work behind a fast food place. In a trailer behind a fast food place. That's what I was saying. It was a trailer behind a comic shop. I mean, you know, that's, that's kind of the joke I was making. That, it almost, that's what it does sound like. It's almost literal. Yeah. Like, yeah. Um, I mean, guys, quit, quit that's making a fun of my home, okay? Yeah. <laughs> You're not chatting up you. the trailer behind a comic book shop, I'm sorry. <laughs> Immediately he I, I just fired to that, actually. Okay, guys. <laughs> Seriously. Immediately he starts taking off my clothes. I can't stop shaking. I couldn't say anything, but I'm nervous, I'm nervous, I'm nervous. I couldn't look at him. Then he slaps me in the face. I couldn't do anything after that. I let it what all happen and went straight to work after. I wanted to forget, without giving details, there wasn't an ounce of love in what, was, what, in what just happened to me. Uh, see. Later that night, he brought his girlfriend over. So that's what this is really. What the fuck? Later that night, he brought his girlfriend over to to our work. They were in a polyamorous relationship. She knew about us. Me and X worked late. <clears throat> As I went to the back room, he followed me, pushed me up against the wall, and started taking off my clothes. I said, "No, please, your girlfriend's right there. I'm not comfortable with it." He said, "I want to show her to you. Oh, I want to show you to her." I said no over and over again. He grabbed both my wrists and pulled me into the other room uh, where she was at. She saw me and said, you're beautiful, but no. All right. Wow, yeah, damn. Again. Yeah. I'm curious if she's written anything else since. This is the only thing she's written. Okay, here's yeah. the thing. If he's already rubbing up on you and shit and then asking you to go to your ho his house... What the fuck do you think is going to happen? Right. You said yes. Let's go to your house. Like, yeah, I'm rubbing like, my like, cock yes, on your fucking leg, go baby. Do it. Like, I'm, I'm going to rub my cock on your leg, baby. Let's go to my house. The fact that, yeah, yeah. This part where she says, then one day we were having a conversation about my breakup and a talk of our of our intimacy came up. Right. He yeah, like, oh, who, who put his hand? What do you have intimacy with just random people? He kissed me. And invited me to his place for, during our lunch break. I said yes. And I went there because I knew we were going to have sex. Yeah, yeah. It's like, I mean, uh, like I said, I, I'm yeah. treading very light, you know, treading very, very 
light ground here. Um, right. I I don't yeah. want to say this. I'm never okay. Preface this: I'm not saying anybody asks for it or deserves it or anything like that, especially if it's an right. unwanted advance. But it does seem like a situation at the start, at least at the very beginning, where it was consensual. Right. At the beginning, I'm not saying what happened in the house was was or was not. And what beginning. followed in the months after. Yeah, but at the yeah. very beginning, it seemed like she wasn't very, you know, she wasn't, like, thinking, that, oh, this is going to be a bad, bad end, you know? Right. Which is just, which is it was weird. More like because was her like, not, you know, her not putting a stop to it while he was just rubbing up on her and kissing her. Mm-hmm. Right. He's yeah, sending a weird right signal. Like, and her right, saying, right, yes, right. let's go. She should have shut him down there if it was unwanted advances. Right. And definitely not be like, yeah, let's go to your house. Yeah. Like, right. because it, that's, I mean, feeling sorry for the dude a little bit there because, right. you know. Maybe she thought they were just going back to play some Smash Brothers. <laughs> uh, or Smash, happens, right? my brothers. Gonna play some. Uh... That's not saying that, you know, once she's there, if I can't remember, it said that she said she was nervous over and over. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. was I she mean, actually know, pushing but... him away and saying no? Because, I mean, that still means that she had time to change her mind. It's like, she immediately right he starts to... to take my clothes off. Okay, I, you know, I can see right there that would have probably been, okay, this has gone a little bit too far. Because he's immediately Well, there's trying definitely to no out. love in that. Like, definitely. Yeah. Like, there's no way other than the whole rubbing up on her for a second. That is kind of stupid. Yeah. It's kind of like, you know, it's like he kissed her and she's like, oh, well, maybe, you know, maybe, you know, maybe, right. maybe kind of thing. Yeah, maybe like hanky-panky, but not full-on. Maybe go over like there, you know, have doing a, it. you know, go over there, have a beer or something, you know, have a conversation. Then maybe something would happen, but it sounded like he just have a mic Yeah, you know, little mics. Yeah, um, <laughs> but it looks like you know he immediately wanted to stop, start, you know, jumping in, jumping bones, you know, and uh, that he wanted in okay. the ham wallet. Yeah, that's what I think. Maybe that's where you know the disconnect happened, and I could sympathize with her on that situation. It's like. Yeah, it's so weird. Like, I can sympathize with them both because she gave him some signals, and he was very obviously like mm -hmm. letting her know what he wanted, right? And, yeah. and stuff like it, there it, wasn't it, even a there wasn't even a let's go to my house and get some coffee. No, it was rubbing up on her right there and going let's go to my house. Like <laughs> yeah, and, uh, yeah, during a lunch break too. You know yeah, Hold yeah, on, babe, I'm gonna spurt. Right. <laughs> <laughs> what, do you, what do you say? What do you say, Cab? And uh, when we go to bus, so, bus. <laughs> so I I feel for him there, mm -hmm. uh, but at the same time, she still had every right to change her mind once there yeah. and be like, "No, this is too far." So, uh, that one's kind of up in the air. It's the behavior afterwards that I think. Um, yeah, it's the whole keeping contact and also. Probably fucking him for several months later afterwards, mm -hmm. and but if you really did that whole was, stripping her for his girlfriend thing, that definitely sounded like it was very the whole thing was very unpleasant and against her will. So that yeah. one is definite no no. Yeah, it, it's like I said, um, these are accusations. Um, there is no concrete proof circumstantial evidence says this is the person she's talking about i'm not saying mm -hmm. that these happened um yeah but in a purely just, hypothetical just personal situation if this guy was um fucking around with high school kids yeah i want him dragged by a tractor yeah by his dick yep. <laughs> yeah <laughs> See, Into the wild blue yonder. See earlier, see y'all see you didn't see it, but it's earlier in uh well y'all probably saw it, but earlier you know nobody nobody in the audience did. Uh, we were talking in DMs and I made a comment on Yellow Flashes. I said because he made a uh, in one of his like you know we respect women um uh posts that this um Esquivel guy has made. He, he mm. made what, did, what was the, the exact thing? Um, he said. Anyway, he said he was quoting somebody. He said, I'm going to go full something, William... Something, William Moulton Marston. William on Moulton Marston on him. And I said, I want to go full John Marston on him and maybe a side of Arthur Morgan. You know, and I said, mm -hmm. uh, you know, you know, this guy, you know, if this is true, this guy's disgusting and deserves a chair. 
So somebody, Jordan, was giving me <laughs> shit because all, he was talking about, oh, you just want to put him in the chair, and then Jordan expressed what he would do to him. Can, can I say that on stream what I want to do? You absolutely yeah. can. Go ahead. I said I'd be, I'd be having these people getting unnecessized castration followed by pouring lye into the wound until they go into shock yep. and capping off with a 9-millimeter mil round to the, to the fucking dome. Yep. Right. But like, Especially when it comes to – like, because they're not given the specific age of the high school kids he may have fucked with. But if we're talking about high school kids, that could be as young as 14. Yep. Yeah. yeah. If we're Which talking is, like, especially when you're talking about like a writing class, so we're probably something to do with English, you know? Yeah. Um, I'm looking because I think you need what? Yo, I know you need four units of English usually, but um, yeah, you take English all the way through. School, so you're looking so. at between 14 and 18. Um, <laughs> so you're looking at like 18. Even that's creepy. Uh, yeah, he might be older, but yeah, it's still legal. You know, right? Yeah. If, you know, if they're willing, I would say. Let me preface that: if they were willing to yeah. do that, right? Um, anything younger than that, no, sir. And yeah. the, well, I mean, if we're talking about the legality of it, depending on your state, yeah, depending um, on your state, I'm talking as about young as state. morality. 15 to 18. Oh. I'm talking about just morality, right? You know, oh, okay. Just, you know, and, and like I, said, I don't, I don't like that he's uh, clearly has every mention of him as high school kids. He's in the position of not just adult, but. but but right. power. He's the teacher. Yeah. Like, that's really easy to manipulate kids with. Right. Or teens, you know, even 18. I mean, that's really easy to manipulate people. <laughs> yeah, when I say, well, like I said, yes, the chair yeah, can infer electric chair. I'm not saying that wasn't the, you mm -hmm. know. But there are, uh, me and my friends, we have this uh, term what we call the bag, right? And the bag is full of implements, <laughs> that are used for situations such as these. Are you talking about that scene from uh, GTA Five? That, but a lot more violent. <laughs> That's pretty hardcore, man. <laughs> I'm not pulling teeth. Let's put it that way. All right. Yeah. Uh, I'd want to put him in a chair, but like a barber chair, and give him a haircut. Oh, you, so you just want to be nice to people? That's uh, yeah. You're just too I'm nice just thinking. That's the problem. I just want to give him a nice straight razor shave. It's yeah, fine. Yeah. Right across the give him a nice way. face. <laughs> just. Make it get. Make sure it gets real nice and fucking close. Get that uh, Nike yeah. swoop on the side of his head. So. <laughs> Nike swoop. <laughs> yeah, you know. I yeah. just kind of want to use something and and crush a, a pedophile's balls, like one that's actually touched kids, like or a use sex like a vice or some shit like that. Yeah, yeah. like mm -hmm. uh, just the satisfaction of crushing somebody's balls, but they have to deserve it. I mean, you know, you could be nature if you really want to do that shit. But I mean, like, irreparably crush them. Like, yeah. Like I said, <laughs> wants, you can become a dominatrix if you want to do that shit. She wants to hurt abusers. <laughs> you know, yeah. that's... Not, she don't want to hurt people that actually want that shit. You know? <laughs> right. <laughs> well, not, um, I'll punch them in the balls for money. I don't give a shit. Oh, I'll punch somebody in the balls for money. But I mean, like, super damaging crushing somebody's balls, like, uh, permanently like that. They need to not like it or it takes the I, fun I, out of it <laughs> I mean, honestly i just want to take a ball ping hammer yeah bam smash that shit and that's just one <laughs> yeah All right. and then i'm taking my time with the rest <laughs> <laughs> i know well, we gotta, gotta remember, the, allegedly allegedly what is yeah. the ramifications of this for dc vertigo and comics and well they're being very silent about it right yeah, DC um, ain't said shit. They ain't said shit about it yet, which I, like I said, my feeling is they're investigating right now. Yeah, because uh, they got hit with this, what, like Friday? Yeah, because that was on the 9th, Night. today's the 11th. Yeah, so it'd be around Friday, yeah. So yeah, Friday, Saturday. Saturday, so. Saturday's when she wrote it, so yeah. So it'd be basically over the weekend. You know, news is slow on the weekend, so this is all hitting like the day, or um, yeah. Monday and Monday and Tuesday is when it really Yeah, and the boss men's from DC, you know, getting, you know, off their cocaine binges and coming into work. <laughs> You know, like, oh, we got to do Going, oh, I got more shit to, yeah, more bullshit to deal with these yeah. fucking writers. See, I can already tell you, like, some of the conversation that's already happened, right? They said, look, okay, straight up. We're putting up with your bullshit with your book because whatever. Yeah, he's probably on thin fucking ice to begin with. Yeah, yeah, it's like your, your book ain't yeah. selling well. It's, you're selling like shit right now, dude, and it's whatever. But, you know, this, this shit, if this is true, man, you know, we're going to have to do what we got to do, you know? Right, so they went ahead and did it. I don't know if they did it yet. I haven't um, done anything yet. They're, they're there's been no official announcement yet. Yeah. I do know there is okay. this uh, one site who had a uh, 
awards. They were giving out awards for the yeah, yeah, like end of year. Yeah, he yanked his name for the consideration. Yeah, he right? like, like what best up and coming writer or something like that. Yeah, and, and then yep. they, they yanked his award because they said. And to be fair, that's fair. You know, for them, I understand. Um, well, not only that, but they said they would reinstate him if this shit. Was if it found was not true, yeah, that's the, that's the case. It's like if it's not true, you know, find out it's not to be true. Okay, then you know, reinstate him. Um, the my concern about. Hold on, quick. Well, my concern about that is that they is best writer because he wrote Bo Boomtown. Let's right. This is a, <laughs> I know. Well, let's look at it. There's this thing. It's a fan vote, and yeah, you know, it's a mean bot vote. Yeah. It, well, okay. not only that, but this is a very small site, and it's probably a bunch of you know NPCs. Russian trolls got him. Well, NPCs probably are the ones that voted for him and stuff. Yeah. So, you know. I was about to say, if it's a fan vote, how the hell did he even anything like? Mm -hmm. Well, you know, like I said, this is the, I, I, my guess is this is a very left uh, leaning, kind yeah, of site, kind of probably like a bleeding cool ish, you know, just a mini bleeding cool, and they're just well, that's pretty, aren't they all? Yeah, well, not all of them. I mean, bounding seems pretty good. Um, bleeding fool is funny because they're a good site. It's just funny they oh, they just basically the make fool. yeah, they basically they're, they're like the cool. guardian. Yeah. They, <laughs> it's like that, like the Twitter like, guardian, whatever. They just take guardian like headlines and make fun of them. Yeah, <laughs> and then what Bleeding Fool does, but basically the Bleeding Cool. Yeah, they basically do that. They also for... report the real news instead of they like, actually do real. Yeah. Stuff, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like basically they make they dunk on Bleeding Fool by Bleeding Cool by like telling the real story. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's nice. It's cute. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So hey, all right, here, here, right, lads. Since we're gonna dunk on you, we're actually gonna tell the truth. Yeah, I think. Well, if anything's gonna happen, I guarantee fucking to you, DC will dump it Friday night. That's usually the mo. That's usually how corporations work, anyway. Corporations, the government yeah. always. It's Friday, like after, like you know, seven p.m. or something. It's like, oh, that by the way, this guy's yeah, fired. That way, they're checking out, and they don't have to deal with it over the weekend. You that know, and then if people forget it. Right. Yeah, people forget it over the weekend, and Monday comes around, they get you know back from their cocaine binges. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, well, what, bull, what, bull, what? Yeah, what writer bullshit I gotta do? Yeah. yeah. Right now, who who's respecting women's now? <laughs> yeah. Right, which one of you people are doing the respecting? You know, like, um, but no, um, one of the, I mean, I think one of the funny things that has come out with this is the, uh, I guess you could say the comics gate opposition don't want to oh. talk about this. Oh, right. I saw the, the, cause boy Zach came back all of a sudden. Oh yeah. He had to come <laughs> back. He's like, this is such bullshit that I had to come back to Twitter. Which yeah. I said he I would came not back do. and then yeah. the, uh, one pro, what, Rim from whatever the fucking name is. Reference, I don't remember. Yeah. That's right. yeah. They're doing every. The people ask him, well, what about uh, fucking Mr. Perone over here? <laughs> I don't forget his name. <laughs> like, Mr. Perone? <laughs> we're just going with random Latin American yeah, things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, like, well, what about, you know, they're trying to. But then they go, like, oh, I. Uh, uh, some, some bullshit about how I disavow, you know, all sexual abuse and that kind of shit. But they don't actually mention, like, no, this guy's a piece of shit. He should go to jail or get fired or whatever. Mm -hmm. They dance around it so they don't have to, like, actually say, oh, yeah. Because I keep wanting to bring up Zach was in, oh, you know he was in Charlottesville uh, when uh, that girl got, you know, ran over. Uh, she didn't get run over, by the way. No, she died of a heart attack. Yeah. Did she get ran over? Did she got hit by the car, though, didn't she? No. No, but she died of a heart attack. No, she died of a heart attack. At the scene, she didn't get hit, touched by anything. But, but so, somebody just like got sentenced. He just to... got sentenced to fucking a life in prison. What's yep. Going on? Yep. For yeah. murder by that's, vehicle. That's a whole other kind of bullshit yep. discussion you can have some other time. But okay. yeah, oh no, she didn't get run over. Even still, okay, okay. The, the point, point, in fact, remain. Okay, this guy, you know, this guy did something bad, right? Mm -hmm. And Zach Maybe. is somehow getting blamed for it, even though he was there to buy right. a comic book. Oh, you're talking about the comic book guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He was just, yeah. He, I don't know. Why the why would he go to Charlottesville that day, though? That was kind of weird. Because he was looking okay, for Okay, okay, okay. I, I can explain this. I can explain this. And this Zach, his family. Zach is a bigger boomer than we are. Right. He didn't oh, he know just that didn't shit was going on. <laughs> I can guarantee you until he got there, he didn't know this shit was going on. He's like, well, you know, come to the last shit. Because <laughs> he even, like, did... if you look at the video, I, went, I said, okay, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll play. Because he made a like an hour-long video about like how these people are making shit up about him, you know, try to, you know, 
yeah. taking stuff out of context and stuff. So I went back and looked at the video, and he was literally – he bought, like, copies of, like, Black Panther and stuff. He was going to hand it to some neo-Nazis. He was like, hey, right, guys, right. check this shit out. Yeah. <laughs> so he was there to, like – he was going to be there to dunk on fucking white nationalists, not fucking join them. Oh, he's going there to, like, do fun. Yeah. Yeah. So he, like, bought, like, you know, some cheap-ass shit of, like, Black Panther and stuff. I was like, hey, guys, you want to check this comic book out? <laughs> Conda forever, my man. Yeah. <laughs> And he does. He's got to do a salute too. The, that was the, even before the movie came out too. So yeah, yeah. Yep. Was this it was a salute in the comics before the movie, or yeah. is that like a movie thing? Uh, mostly a movie mostly thing. Mostly a movie thing. Yeah. Okay, because that that shit is cringe. I'm just gonna say it. Yeah. yeah. Well, people do it in real life. So yeah, the, the the whole thing today is like keep trying to keep talking about that. You know, something that's not true. <laughs> yeah. To avoid talking about the possibility that, that this guy is a piece of shit because he uh he's an ally yeah and like when you say ally him, you mean rapist well i mean <laughs> he, he respects women that's uh i mean we all respect women don't we uh, no nope. i know i do yeah nope the only person i know here that doesn't respect women is piper uh, yeah hey me too I respect him from a distance. Like, <laughs> <laughs> those if they're nice tits. <laughs> yeah, she's like, I can appreciate those tits, but yeah. say, the only person woman that... I would never want to know. <laughs> so say, the only person that Piper respects, well, the only woman that Piper respects is herself. Me and me. Well, yeah, you're not a woman. <laughs> oh, Daryl is a beautiful woman. I don't know what I'm about. Uh, yeah, that really beautiful bald head. Earlier? I'm the one with the bald head. He's got hair. Oh, does he? Shit, I forget. <laughs> yeah, I respect, dude, I went I'm through puberty really last year. <laughs> <laughs> okay, shit. Sure. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> okay, so yeah, we, we're kind of we're at the situation where it's looking like everybody's uh, fucked up. No, well, what I'm trying to say is these are still accusations. Not looking good right. for the dude, and all at all. You know, in all honesty. Um, well, here's the thing. Even if they're not, even if none of that actually really happened, the bad PR, DC will can his ass anyway. The yes. believe all yeah. women thing is it's, gonna take that, you know, and run it's, too. It's right. Screwing, you know, believe all women is gonna screw a lot of guys over. And I mean, it already has, yeah. but it's gonna get worse in the future. Um, oh, that's why you've seen like the new rules, like for like Wall Street firms, they have like don't go. In rooms with women alone, don't go to, out to lunches with. What? Them. Some Wall don't do yes. anything near women. A lot of workplaces are doing stuff yeah. like that now, yeah, and some I mean, are even women saying, don't right. hire women. <laughs> wow, I agree. <laughs> was real. Women I mean, brought remember... that upon themselves. They still have, I think, the burden of proof. Mm -hmm. You need, um, you know, how about... I understand that investigations on that kind of stuff is. It is. It is brutal. It is yeah. awful. What we're saying is, and you know, I'm saying this from a, a position of, um, you know, trying to be, you know, kind funny. and caring um, and funny. No, uh, Daryl, <laughs> you, 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 shush, you shush for a bit here. Um, from, you know, I can't. What, what I'm Go saying, ahead. What I'm saying is, I'm gonna try, brother. Cynthia, um. Report this to the cops. Yeah. Because um, if this gentleman did this, he don't need to be walking around. No, not at um, all. And if you have any more evidence, and you know, and just and another thing, I'll tell you, just come out and say who it is. You haven't yet said. Yeah. I mean, you'll see. You know, they showed that she retweeted some things talking about him. So now it's kind of like, okay, you know, it probably, you know, it's a Must ninety-nine be, percent yeah. chance. Yes, she is talking about, you know, Javier Square yeah. here. Yeah, um, she's doing that passive aggressive horse just shit. Do it. I mean, yeah. I mean, honest with you, you will do more for victims' rights and stuff in the long run if you just come out and say it. But not just that, but she'll be doing a lot more for herself. Well, just for herself, but you know, I'm, you know, because you know, she'll say, "I'm doing this for other women," so they can yeah, go through absolutely. it. Yeah, How you do that is telling me who that person is. Right. You want my yeah. sympathy, and like I said, I'm not trying to be down on her or anything. Like, if you no. want my sympathy, you want me to believe you. Tell me who the fuck did it. Yeah, because give me some deets. I'm going to tell you something. In the South, we have a way of dealing with shit like that, especially if it's a fucking family member. Yeah. Then ain't no cops yeah. going to be involved in that shit neither. Oh, we, shit. That, that shit. Let's just say the shit gets dealt with, and they went fishing. 
Yeah, yeah, buddy. But these the are a bunch of their West life. Coast, so not- <laughs> Go ahead. No, I just said they're just a, they're a West Coast homo, so they're not gonna. God damn yeah. <laughs> they, they, block, they, block about about shit. they don't. They don't deal with shit. They just talk about it on their fucking blog posts or whatever. Exactly. And retweet think- passive aggressively. <laughs> handled it weird, but I think if nothing else, he is definitely a sex pest, and I have had of those kind of friends in my life yeah. and I put up with them with for longer than I should have but I at least you know eventually was like nah fuck you and yeah. eventually called the police right. on one of them right and I, yeah, like I said I know how especially with a burden of proof and all that stuff it's hard with yeah. solid evidence you know especially when it comes to phone calls because you don't think I'm getting a phone call you don't think I better record this phone call or something like that you know you're just I just want to get off the phone. Just leave me alone. You know that kind of thing. You yeah. Know? So I know it's hard. I'm not saying it's not, um, but yeah, it's hard to go about that. I'm yeah. That's yeah. why I'm like I I I get it. I think she kind of uh made a bit of a weird show about it. I don't need flowery people, language. Yeah, which gives people you know? room to to you know wonder why didn't you put the name? Is it real? You know. Mm-hmm. And uh, stuff, but um, th- that email thing, man. Still, yeah, like, why would I, you I, email I, I, tell him that? Like, it's like she decided she wasn't going to until he, her his reaction was within five minutes, and then she decided to publish it to everybody. You know, what it looks like to yeah. me anyway. Which is, but why would you email them in the first place I if they've done all that said, stuff? You know, the thing is, at this point, you know, he's. I mean, you know, he's a. You know fucking you know g-list um person you know because i don't know what you call a comic book person i wouldn't call them you know d-list because that's i think they're below d-list in all honesty you know i'm just trying to be honest here you know nobody's beating down the door of a comic book pro and say oh my god give me autograph ah! you know kind of thing i don't know rob Liefeld is i would say well, a-list that's not because of his you know he, rob because he's a beautiful man that's you know that's what I'm saying. He's, he draws beautiful people, no, no, and he's a beautiful drawing. man. It's just that he's a gorgeous human being. <laughs> draws amazing feet. You say you'd like to... Uh, I would like to lick um, his feet. <laughs> wow. You'd like to rub your uh, stubble on his butt cheeks? Yes. I would like to. Rob you ever run across this video, I will lick Mike Hard's lemonade off your rock-hard chest. <laughs> Is it- as it glistens in the sunlight. <laughs> beads of <laughs> you, uh, I, I gotta ask you, Cab, would you uh when you're doing that, would you blow on his nipples? Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean that's I just top and courtesy. I get real close and back. <sighs> <laughs> that's lewd. And then I would whisper in his ear. Yeah, you gotta whisper into his butthole. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> into his butthole. Screaming to his ass. Um. <laughs> you know what I would scream into Rob Liefeld's ass? Uh. Why the fuck he ain't drawing feet, nigga? Damn. <laughs> or wrists. Do you think that's worth saying up his ass, though? Yes. No, that's a, a, that's, that's where his head has to be. <laughs> <laughs> what even? But his dude head should... seven figures. But dude, he doesn't. Feet, so. he doesn't. He doesn't. Yeah, he doesn't possess the capacity to feet. So oh, no, I've heard if you put free. your ear to his asshole, you can hear the ocean. Uh, so you can hear uh, I thought that Captain was That's what I'm saying. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. He doesn't have any capacity uh, for living up there. What is he? What even is this? Yeah, I, I'm wondering too, Xavier. What have I done? What have I started? <laughs> I just play like Mike's for living. I don't know what you guys are going Xavier also oh, said... Uh, no, all, Xavier, and I think that's agreeable. Wayne, um, he says, Wayne, no names, no simpy. Yeah, that's pretty much it yeah that's fair i mean like i said you know i i can i have sympathy to the degree that you know i can understand it's hard and everything like that but you're doing yourself a disservice and you're doing everybody a disservice when you don't just come out and give me receipts and name names you know now Mm -hmm. i I will say this i know receipts are hard especially receipts but i will say this on that and that was I was planning on either writing or doing like a very dark comic that touches on something mm-hmm. as part of you know for other people, but also part like therapeutic for me. And I can't fucking remember names because I didn't want to. 
I remember an, an initial. <laughs> well, she's been in contact with him for years, so she knows his name. It's not. Yeah. There's well, no... no, I'm saying that the no names, no simpy, that might be a really hard line to draw because yeah. it might still depend on the situation. Right. Yeah, I understand what you're saying. I, I think Wayne's just saying in this specific situation because it's pretty obvious she knows the name of the person who did her dirty just but di just didn't want to say yeah, it out in, in this, public. In yeah, this situation, right. and see, that, that does kill me because that could have potentially helped a lot of people because he travels around to conventions and, and this and that and therefore is exposed to plenty of kids and women. Like, so putting well, his name out there would have looked, a, you know, would have made a lot more sense. Most importantly, she uh, could have stopped Boomtown from ever happening. Border Town. You mean yeah. Border Town? Or Border Town, not Boomtown. Boom Town. <laughs> Whatever. I'm What's looking up? at the Boomer image right now. I had Border <laughs> Town. But... <laughs> but yeah, Border Town. She could have stopped that. This is the biggest tragedy. Oh, God. I hate, I hate to do this. Right? Right? I hate to do this, but to put the fifth, possible fifth um, project on my plate, um, what do you think about making a comic called uh, Boomer Town? <laughs> Boomer yeah, Town. Yeah. It's, just, yeah. it's you, like that. All right. You know that You know that comic guy, Har uh, Harvey P. Carr? Yeah. Yeah. Like American uh, Splendor, where yep. he just he did a comic book like about a normie. Mm -hmm. Yep. Make it like that, but boomers. <laughs> 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 boomers doing their thing called American Boomer. It's, I, I would have it. it. Okay, I just thought of something. Every boomer in the town, they they fucking mow their lawn every every Saturday at eight p eight a.m. They all do it at the same time. They just fucking yeah. It's basically yep. yeah. it would basically be like a weird parody of King of the Hill or yeah. like Stepford Wives. Yeah, like Stepford Wives, <laughs> but with old men boomers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Exactly, and uh, they only and they only do it at eight eight a.m. because their 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 kids have been up since like they've been up all night and they went to bed at like six thirty. Yeah, <laughs> dude, it, it would look like a really weird weirder I would say version of the scene from like Edward Scissorhands when everyone's getting ready for work in the morning and they all do yeah. it all at the same time and yeah. they all have like their perfect house with the weird colors and. Yeah. yeah, and they all all the cars leave at the same time. Yeah, it'd be like that, but it's just boomers popping open uh, fucking sips and getting on their junk here. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it started up too. Like at the beginning of the thing, it's like you know, it says seven fifty five. You know, yeah. You know they're getting. You know they're. You know they're already out there. You know they're getting everything warmed up. They got their cooler of sips. You know, uh -huh. <laughs> and they grab one because uh, the thing is, their their lawnmower is gonna have a fucking. It's gonna have a cup holder on it. Come on. Of course. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's Ryan Lawnmower, of course. Yeah, of course, you know. And they put that thing on there, they pop it, you know, and as soon as they, they start that lawnmower up, they open the garage door, and they take a sip, and then they start going to town, you know, cutting grass. Yeah, right at, right at 8 o'clock, then that's when the sips open up, and they hit play on the uh, fucking boombox, and it's yeah. like Motley Crue. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> boombox. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> and, 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 of course, and, and they're, and of course, they're going to keep going by that same window over and over again because it's where they're uh, – Oh, yeah, they just go right with yeah. 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 <laughs> the whole fucking day. Yeah, we great. And, and the boomer, and we can also have the boomer moms. They're like vacuuming the floor at the same time. Yeah, they're making yeah. breakfast. Yeah, they're ma no, they already made breakfast. They made that at like six, you know, seven o'clock. Oh, you know, okay, you know. all right. Remember, we're talking about boomer women here. Yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah, hey, come on. Cat. I don't know. Women know how to cook anymore. I don't know. It's some of them, have, some of them. Boomer women do. Yeah, boomer women. Okay, that's probably yeah. true. Yeah. yeah, we're looking at the last. Thanks. Our generation, Cab, is the last generation of women who could probably cook. <laughs> probably, yeah. Nice. So I can cook, and I'm not a boomer. Well, how old are you? There's... Are you sure? Well, on which you? one? <laughs> how old are you, Piper? Thirty. Something? You're a boomer. You're a boomer. -uh. You're a boomer. No, I'm You're not. A boomer. Are, you, are you older than thirty-five? No. Basically, the the idea is that chicks under the age of thirty, none of them can cook. They don't know how to make. You know, do fucking laundry or anything like that. They're and they useless. Oh, see, I had to do it to survive because my mom didn't know how to do that shit. Oh, right. So your mom was like a zoomer. <laughs> oh, you yeah. know, <laughs> proto zoomer. <laughs> proto zoomer. The tra the, that's like the trait skip generations. That's what happened. Yeah. So uh, they should be we're respecting women right now by pointing out their flaws. You're 34. I can't remember. Okay. What I just. <laughs> Okay, so Camera range. before we uh before we end tonight, I want to talk about what I think will be the best superhero movie of twenty nineteen. And that is Captain Marvel. Godzilla King of the Monsters. Okay, look, first and foremost, motherfucker, that is not a superhero film. It is now. <laughs> no, no, fuck you. I'm not letting you get away with it. I don't give a shit if it's your show or not. 
You can't call. It's kaiju. Fuck you. It's not superheroes. Eat my dick. Now he's very super, and he's a hero in the movie, right? Okay. Yes, exactly. He's very super. He's a hero in the movie. Both, both uh, y'all niggas shut the fuck up. Okay. I, I, I ain't hearing this shit. Mm -hmm. Well, too it late is. at night. That, no. It's too bad. You're going to hear it. I, refu <laughs> I refuse. You, Dude, you heard it, so... Yeah, uh, yeah, it's already done. Eat it. And I'm showing an image that we were talking about earlier. Um, that you, you know, that we were... You know, oh, about how large of a fucking lad that fucking... Uh, is. Yeah. I, look at that nigga. Look at that, how big that nigga is. Yeah. Absolute fucking unit. Yeah. <laughs> and we know Godzilla ain't no slouch. Yeah, that nigga is, he's got mad dad bod in, in the fucking, uh, what's it, Paramount? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that nigga fat as fuck. Mm -hmm. But he fight, but you, but you look, But you look at, you look at Ghidorah, he, he, his, his neck is sleek as fuck. He could swing that neck real good. Look at them fucking wings. This mm -hmm. nigga look like an actual fucking dragon. Right. Yeah. Like, he, his design is really fucking cool. Mm -hmm. But the reason why I say it's going to be the best superhero movie is because... Mm -hmm. The joke was made in 2014, um, when the you know, the current when the Hollywood Godzilla came out. Um, not soon after that, or right before it, or something, the Superman Man of Steel movie came out, right? Where Superman didn't act like Superman; he's just like some you know guy that had powers and you know, oh, yeah. you know Clark, my invincible son, don't save my life. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but the joke was that. Uh, Godzilla saved more lives and did less property damage than Superman did in Man of Steel. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds about right. So yeah. So the joke is, I'm saying that's why I'm saying it's gonna be the best superhero movie because right, right. obviously Godzilla is gonna save the day again. Godzilla's <laughs> <laughs> a better superhero than Superman. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's that's... costing the world a lot less money than Superman. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, you know, Godzilla's like, you know, he's there. I mean, I think we can all say, okay, I guess I'm going to go give a preview and do my Godzilla voice here. Uh, <laughs> I, I could fucking see that, you know, something, you know, this movie signs up, you know, all these monsters are fucking coming out of the woodwork, just busting ass, right? And, you know, Godzilla, he's just like, uh, you know, four years ago I had to deal with this shit. And now these, <laughs> these fools coming back up. Uh, well, uh, time to grow. Got to run these hands again. <laughs> now, why does your Godzilla sound like you're Sam Elliott? Sam, Sam Elliott is a different voice, Cab. I don't get. <laughs> oh, my bad. No. Hey, 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 Wayne, can you can you say something for me real quick before we cut off the stream? Huh? Say in your Godzilla voice, you're about to catch these atomic hands. I swear to God. You're about to catch these atomic hands. I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Look, Kurt and Ike are wild down here. It's just waiting for the tentacles to drop, baby. Yeah, you better get it. <laughs> I ain't gonna waste my hand with these hands. <laughs> oh, listen, your hands are welcome too. Oh. <laughs> you get the fuck? Oh, okay, now I'm gonna call Sam, Sam Elliott. What do you think, Sam Elliott? I'm done. Tired of this cook, some bitch right here. <laughs> oh, listen. Now, oh, you you're just per persecuting me because I'm a Joe. You know what? Okay, wait. Hey, Arthur, what do you well, think about this? This is some damn bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> And those are some blinking lights I see right there. Have, I'm going to go into an epileptic seizure right now. So what? 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 Thank have, you. What, Cap? Have Godzilla ask Ethan Van Skyver a question. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <clears throat> hey, uh, Uncle Lee. Uh, first time, first time listener. Uh, have you ever uh, drawn kaiju? Just wondering. <laughs> or is Ethan? Oh yeah. Uh, <clears throat> well, you know, maybe. Uh, I, I, I could. You, do you do you count Atrocitus as a kaiju? I don't know. Uh, he, he's kind of a big guy. What do you think? What do you think, John Malin? I don't think so, Ethan. I think you're wrong there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's. Uh, I'll draw kaiju. Probably yeah. one day. Hey, uh, what do you think about that, uh, John Marston? Shut up, John. <laughs> 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 he eats babies. <laughs> you know, I went back the other day because I, I watched all the uh, cut scenes from Undead Nightmare, mm -hmm. and I watched that scene again where he said he's talking to the Bigfoot, saying, "You eat babies." 
It ain't your fault. It ain't your fault. <laughs> Dead told- Nightmare is probably the best DLC for any like GTA kind of game ever. Yeah, it's just like fucking. I like that. It's it's, awesome. It was just they went totally outside the norm of everything. Oh, it was just complete bullshit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They just made shit up and they said this will make a funny story kind of thing. And it's like my second favorite character besides the Bigfoot was when you get to the town and you talk to the guy who starts ranting about Jews and oh, communists. Oh yeah, Arthur. Well, not Arthur, but it's like something. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna. He's, you know, he's, was the guy, to, he's a shop runner. Yeah, yeah. I was about to fucking send that to you the other night. Um, and, he thinks the entire zombie outbreak is Jews and communists working oh, yeah, together. Catholics, Jews, Dude. communists, and Catholics. Catholics. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was great. He's the most racist piece of shit in the entire fucking. Game. He's the funniest piece of shit. He's <laughs> also hilarious because he's. Just... Yeah, it's great. And then the, the look on John Mars's face is like he's just like, uh, okay, old timer. <laughs> there is a scene in Red Dead too, and you could do it either John or uh, or Arthur. It just depends on when you do it. Um, where you run into this incest um, couple. It's a brother and sister. Uh-huh. Now, John's reaction is like, you know, kind of muted, but it's <laughs> when they start like feeding each other food and stuff like that, Arthur has this look on his face like, uh. Like, He's not down with that bullshit. Kind of got his lips a little pursed like, oh, what the fuck am I got him myself involved in? <laughs> I need uh, a console so I can play that game. Uh, same, same. That's when I, when it's a pretty good game. That's one I want. I really, really want to play, and I really, if I, I really want a console, just play it. I, that's one I would buy a console and not worry about, uh, you know, getting, you know, waiting for a possible PC version. Uh, yeah, right. I, I love the first one. I love the Undead Nightmare, and just for everything I've seen, you know, about it, I would love Red Dead too. But anyway, <clears throat> so yeah, like I said, Godzilla, best superhero, twenty nineteen. Uh, I don't know. Ar- Arthur might be the best superhero well, yeah, of 2018. I, I, I'm giving, for 2018, I'm giving Arthur Arthur Morgan. Oh, okay. Uh, Arthur Morgan is best yeah. hero of 2018. Yeah. I think we'd all agree on that, right? Arthur Morgan. Yeah. Best hero. Yeah. Best hero in a Arthur Morgan. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. And the only the second only to John Marston. Uh, well, he was best, uh, like, what, 2010, though? So. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 He's, like, he's out of his time. Let me uh, find, before we go, I'm going to find another image of this Ghidorah. Because I got one of him. Oh, yeah, here it is. There it is. This one right here. That really gives you a good view of the heads. God damn, that looks so good. You about to bust? Dude, I'm, I'm just saying this is a fucking like, fan of like Godzilla movies. This is... There's one thing. Yeah, that's the one thing I noticed. Like People who like Godzilla really fucking love Godzilla. Oh yeah. <laughs> like I watched him as a kid and stuff, and then I didn't. It was like it was entertaining. It was on TV or the movie, whatever. But I just never like, oh my god, I gotta watch Godzilla all fucking yeah. day. Or yeah, you're not like yeah. you're not how like uh, Wayne and I are. No, you you're guys not, are like right. straight up autism when it comes. It, to it. It, no, it, get, it got really bad one night. We were, I think, we were either in Myers Discord or we were in fucking Teamspeak, and we were up until like four o'clock in the goddamn morning talking about Godzilla. Be like, oh, remember this fucking scene? Yeah. Oh see, my god! You see, the we picture? turned into actual children again. <laughs> but do you see the picture I'm that's showing? Uh, that's kind of awesome, though. There, <laughs> on the yeah, 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 the yeah that shit is fucking ridiculous. Yeah, like is that said, a scene from really, the movie, or is this it from just the like a movie? weird? Yeah, this is not a, oh, okay. This is not a rendering. Dope. This is from the movie, from the trailer. Okay, because this is the part where he's about him and Godzilla about to like do a um, do a clash, which Godzilla running full speed toward was fucking amazing. Like holy mm-hmm. shit. I, I said he didn't do a flying drop kick, but you know we can get past that. Yeah, we're never gonna see that in these these films, but it's there okay. Was a, um, somebody did a joke at him. I wish I could find it. It was an image of Godzilla. You know that part where he in the first trailer where he blows his atomic, you know, in, you know, atomic beam into the air. Yeah. Into the sky. <laughs> where there's one where he just turned his head like you know facing to- forward, and then like put his put him off the ground and like he was flying with the fucking atomic. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> now does in this new movie does he does he do that weird dance? Oh, I, I hope like so. He did in that one because that would be I would fucking get the DVD for that. Mm-hmm. What's really funny is like let me find this. This is a concept somebody kind of came up with. They're not that, that you know this this is a fan thing, but they weren't far off from the design. In all honesty. What well, were you trying to show now? Yeah, it'll come up in a second. But yeah, this is a. This is a fan piece that somebody made, mm-hmm. and like I said, it's 
they're not they weren't far off from what the um uh, actually looks kind of close to it from what i've seen yeah 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 like the only difference in 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 terms of the, like uh the Ghidorah, Ghidorah, yeah, Ghidorah heads, yeah. rather, is yeah. it looks more like a Hydra, whereas in the official movie he looks more like a dragon. Right. And I think they, uh, I wonder if they're going to impress upon it that it's a space dragon, you know, that he's not terrestrial. Right. Well, I mean, that might be that might be how they explain why he was stuck in fucking ice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Fell from the sky and then, you know, got, you know, trapped somewhere. And this is the uh, image of the... Uh, a toy or the you know the model mm-hmm. that's coming out which these are the couple those are the kind of models that are like they're super detailed and stuff and it's just like mm-hmm. damn Eat. look at look, look at that nigga's wingspan just look at that shit and look at his chest it's like he's not all like you know fat and everything like that in the chest like he was in mm-hmm. the old movies he's just like you know it makes sense like something like that has to be strong in the torso and stuff to yeah. not, not have arms you know, because mm-hmm. that's, yeah, that's the thing with the door. He has no arms to grapple with. It has to be his heads, you know? So. Right. And then you look at Godzilla. Godzilla fat as fuck. <laughs> He's... You, you, can't, you can't look at that nigga and be like, God damn, go on a fucking diet, you fat piece of shit. The Rodan, I would say the Rodan and Mothra's look, Mothra looks really good, too. I, look, I'm, I hate to break it to you, but Rodan is not in this movie. That's just fucking Moltres. Moltres. No, it's just Moltres. Get out of here. <laughs> you talking about kaiju? That, that, tell you, you can't call a superhero to kaiju and, blah, 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 and you bring in Moltres. Get the fuck out of here! <laughs> you can't, nigga. You can't sit here and be like, can't tell me that Rodan's design that does not remind you of Moltres from fucking Pokemon. Dude, I like it because, like, honestly, it gives him a, you know, actually gives him something other than like Fly Fast Man. You know? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He has, he has a bit more to his design, a bit more to his character now. Right. Um. The, like I said, the Mothra looks really cool with the kind of the pincers and things like that. Um, yeah. Let's see. Doing it live, Mothra. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna call her her because she's always been a her, but um, yeah, yeah. there's a close up of her. Let's see. You still see the aesthetics from the you know the old the old Toho stuff, like mm-hmm. the blue eyes and things like that. But they just gave her. <laughs> Offensive weaponry, you know, <laughs> right? Because <laughs> you know, in this scene, I mean, that's obvious. In this scene, she's getting ready to fight um, Rodan. Oh yeah, you know. I'm really hoping because like the guy, they, they've said that they're not gonna team up. Mm. But I'm thinking that's like I think that's like a fade, a fake. Right. Because I do believe like they start off all fighting each other like for a dominance thing, and they realize oh Ghidorah is actually the uh, big big bad that we need to deal with so right we're gonna have to team up and like combine all our powers kind of thing to take them down and then you know i think the whole thing is like you know they just leave and fucking see there's there she is with her legs and stuff like that that looks i mean that's very moth like Mm -hmm. and and like i said actually looks like a moth instead of what the what they always tried yeah here you go they got it right here (laughs) god damn you'll see it in a minute it's just that fucking from the 90s, uh, Mothra. Uh, <laughs> with yeah. her, chicken, her chicken feet and her pipe cleaner uh, um, arms. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. They. W- the one thing I can say about this film is they really knocked it out of the park with the kaiju designs. Oh, yeah. Like, you can tell. It's not like the 1997 Godzilla where it's kind of like we're going to use the license. Or yeah. even the one from 2014 where they're like, we got Godzilla – but, but we don't so really we got any other kaiju. Here. Yeah. Yeah. This one, you're like, oh, oh, y'all niggas wanted kaiju. Here you go. Take these really nice looking kaiju designs. Yeah. And plus, we are now we know <clears throat> it's been confirmed now because of the trailer that there is more than just the four. Right. I'm pretty sure there's going to be a spite. Uh, the spider um, kaiju is going to be in here. Mm-hmm. And I'm not ruling out Angrius. <laughs> yeah, that'd be cool. See him. That part where the, the mountain was shaking up. Mm-hmm. You know, and kind of falling apart. I said that's either Anger Angerus or Baragon. I hope it's not Baragon. Baragon's kind of weak sauce. But uh, man, I just if they if they bring back Baragon, I just want to have them do this the silly stuff with that one Japanese voice actress. <laughs> ah, <laughs> fucking hilarious. That is like the gro- and I found that when when I was showed that, I said that's the funniest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I can pull that up. Huh? 
Yeah, reset the clock again, because I'm sure somebody else out there is respecting women right now. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, was it Baragon, voice actress? Oh yeah, Dark Man, Edge Face, King Cesar. I would love to see, uh, like King Cesar done and and like how they're doing the new Godzilla films. Yeah, that'd be some good shit. I saw somebody. I think it was like a um a comment. They think this new this second Godzilla movie that's coming out, it's gonna end with the government creating Mecha Godzilla, mm-hmm. which would be fucking amazing. Well, I know that the next one is going to be, um, King Kong. It? Uh. Godzilla versus King Kong, or Kong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That that doesn't surprise me. GMK. Let's try it this way. Ah, that's not it. But no, I. God, I can't find the one. Where she's like going. Ah. Oh yeah, here it is. I think this might be it. Play for the Piper is uh, talking shit in the chat. <laughs> Piper's not very excited by our uh, Godzilla talk. <laughs> Sorry, I just like I just play. I'm gonna play. Well, it. no, it's just that it's not a Godzilla stream. So, <laughs> so Wayne, so Wayne, what, what I'm hearing is we need to do a weekly Godzilla stream. Yeah. You know what? Fuck it. That's what Greater Point Five's chick is gonna be now. Fuck comics. We're gonna talk about Godzilla from now on. Yeah, I made it relevant. I said it's gonna be the best superhero movie of 2019. He just it. said we're gonna talk about Gedzuki every night. So. No. no. Let's yeah. not do that. Even I no, let's talk about Gadzuki. Even I have scruples, you know. <laughs> yeah, I'm assuming Gadzuki is the name that I pulled out of my head for. No, no, it's a real name. That thing, yeah. It was from the uh, that little one, right? It was no, that the Gadzuki, the name Gadzuki came from the animated TV show from the 70s. Right. Yeah. Um, Ga- um, Minya is the name of the baby Godzilla from the 60s, and it's right. just Junior <laughs> from the 90s movie. The, the the superior son. Yeah, the 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 only son. <laughs> as the, as you'll find out in Godzilla vs. Guy Gun, he, uh, my only son. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Godzilla stream. Is something that happens when he drinks too much coffee. Oh God. We already have Daryl here. Mm-hmm. Oh, and I just drink too much. Period. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But anyway, yeah, I think that's uh that's it for tonight. Uh, uh, <laughs> we talked about Javier Escuela and how he uh, respects women, and uh, mm. how I will once again allegedly, Alpha, allegedly. allegedly. yeah, allegedly. Yeah, I remember allegedly. Um, and how uh, and how Godzilla will be the best superhero movie of 2019. Uh, so uh, tomorrow night, <laughs> I don't even know what we're gonna talk about. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure something about will come. More up. Godzilla, probably. Yeah, well, something will come up. Is what I'm saying. Something will come up. Yeah. So. Yeah. Anyway, you people have a good night. Uh, We will see you tomorrow night. And uh, y'all have a good one. Goodbye.